You know, when they talk about politics, they talk about, of course, politicians who are there to do the good of the country, you know. They're looking after you and I, making sure that we can survive in this cost of living crisis. As often is the case, though, the real people have no idea about the cost of living crisis, have they, you know. They don't really experience what you and I do. Ministerial cars to and from, no standing in bus stops or waiting for trams or whatever it is in your country in the pouring rain. No. Then they have protection. Then, of course, they have advisors. The only advice we have is if we can get through to somebody, of course, in one of those landlines, if you can find one, help assistance or a chatbot. This is the world that we live in. Now, the reason I wanted to highlight this particular story is when you think about it, there's no absolute disgrace anymore, is it? Nobody's embarrassed about improper actions or behaviour or anything like that. When you think about it, if you're the worse you do, as we pointed out with the BBC, the more you're applauded. Let me explain. Now, as many people know who watch this channel, I'm just going to tell myself off. We should have had a wave. You all right? Thank you so much. Good morning. As many people know, watch this channel. I also cover politics for various channels around the world. And they're a funny breed, you know, politics. Many of the politicians will never be as old as they look. You know who I'm talking about. Very strange bunch of people. And then, of course, they become, they're powerful, don't they? They're the ones with the money. They're the ones with the book deals after it goes wrong. All of that sort of stuff. Now, over here, right now, we're going through an election campaign. Uh, perhaps some people might say for the replacement of his right honourable Rishi Sunak, of course, uh, the current British Prime Minister at number 10 Downing Street. Fascinating when you think. But what's even more fascinating is how TV channels are literally wasting a lot of money in order to make sure that you watch on the night as the election re result unfolds. Over on Sky, we've told you about how they've decided to keep on two staff members who were very spectacularly suspended from their jobs for breaking COVID rules while discussing breaking COVID rules live on air. You know what I mean? Beth Rigby, Kay Burley. Fascinating stuff. And of course, they're not the only two. Over on ITV though, they've got the former royal reporter and friend of Meghan and Harry, uh, Tom Bradbury, heading the stuff uh, up front. Now he's got a very strange panel of people. Not more so than the former Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne, who made an absolute hash of the Evening Standard newspaper in his short tenure as being the editor for that. The former MP for Labour, Ed Balls, now residing on ITV's Little Watch Good Morning Britain after a stint throwing himself around Strictly Come Dancing. And this lady, Nicola Sturgeon, another one that could be said didn't exactly cover herself in glory, while her husband apparently, and as ever allegedly, is currently still being investigated by the Scottish police for whatever wrongdoing they can decide that it is. But Nicola's a fighter, you see. She's coming back and going to be on the panel. But is she worth it? According to a very well-placed source, they've literally splashed the cash on this particular panel. But apparently Nicola has come away with the lion's share of the money. And because of her background, insight and absolute failure, they believe she's worth in the region of 50 to 75,000 pounds. This is going to be news, of course, to Ed Bowles, who's on a rolling contract, and of course, the former Chancellor George Osborne. Tom Bradbury's just on a measly salary, literally himself, from ITV. But it just goes to show, doesn't it, that if you fail in anything, doesn't matter how badly you fail, eventually you'll get rewarded. And is that truly, should it be, and why is it the case? Is it like that in your part of the world? I'd love to know how it operates. The harder they fall, the more money they climb in. Nicholas Sturgeon, I do hope that you've given it to many of the causes that you claimed were so worthy in your tenure, as of course, the SNP leader. Neil Sean, London.